You got it. My question is mainly for Evan, though. Uh, Evan, uh, I'm a YouTube TV subscriber. been with them for several years now and just got an email about 10, 20 minutes ago that as of June 30th, they're yep. no longer going to carry SNY. What? I know. Yes. What? Here's a problem with YouTube TV, which I had. I had YouTube you TV loved for it back a few in the years. Day, yeah. I loved it back in the day. And I got out a couple of years ago because they dropped the Yes Network. And that's okay. a problem for me because, obviously, the New York Yankees and the Brooklyn Nets. Sure. That's a problem. To lose SNY now and not have Yes, and you can tell me all day about NFL Sunday Ticket, YouTube TV is proving they are not serious. Okay? So let me ask you a They're question. not serious about sports coverage for New Yorkers because you can't sell to Mike or me or anybody listening, hey, you guys should get YouTube TV and not offer the Yes Network or SNY. You have now proven you're an unserious streaming service. So let me ask you a question, Mike. If you go to YouTube TV, you know, whenever, whenever the SNY thing ends, uh, what about MSG, Yes, and the other ones? No? Never had him. You they never had it. They never had MSG. Go on. You know, I'm, not, I'm not huge on NBA regular season. I'm, I'm not a Yankee fan. I'm a Mets fan, though. And SNY to me was the big one. Now that SNY's gone from them, I, I got to find something else. So, well, I'll Evan, give you the one. The I got, I actually, I've got a press release right here. Tommy just gave me. I'll just read it to you very fast. And then I'll tell you the service yeah. to get. Uh, and, Mike, appreciate your call, pal. Despite our good faith efforts, YouTube TV is preparing to drop SNY and our exclusive live Mets games on July 1st. We feel an obligation to inform YouTube TV subscribers that they will lose SNY's leading coverage of the Mets, Jets, and all of New York's professional and collegiate sports teams. If you're a Mets fan and a YouTube TV subscriber, go to SNY.TV slash YouTube TV to find a new provider. I respect that our last caller doesn't care about the Yankees and doesn't care about regular season basketball or hockey. Yeah. But my point to you overall is that if you're a sports fan living in New York, why would you ever have YouTube TV? Well, if, it doesn't, have, if, it, does, if it doesn't have, have yes, MSG and SNY, there's no point in having it. No, okay, but here's the problem. And this is the overriding issue. The only reason why it's worth the discussion. The NFL Sunday ticket. They just got the NFL Sunday ticket. Yeah, now, but can't you get yeah, that without the other stuff? You can. It's more expensive. So the way it works is if you're a subscriber of YouTube TV, which none of us should be at this point, because why would you be? We're sports fans. Right. Like, I mean, I'm sorry. YouTube TV proved with the dropping of the S Network a year ago that they weren't serious about getting the sports fan. So you pay a little bit more to get NFL Sunday ticket through the YouTube TV service. You don't need YouTube TV to have the Sunday ticket. You can buy just the ticket. If you right? had YouTube TV, then yes, the Sunday ticket is a little bit less expensive. But I think this, this usually I say, I don't know whose fault it is. Here's why I know it's YouTube TV's fault, not SNY. Go. Oh. Because they don't have yes, and right. they don't have MSG. Right, they're, they're making no attempt to get the New York sports fan. Right. So the service. And by the way, if you're SNY, why wouldn't you want to be on YouTube TV? Of course, you want to be out there as much right. as possible. The right. service that I have, it's more expensive. So I just want you to know it ahead of time. So let me ask you this. Can yeah. you get SNY on Hulu? I'm not sure. I can tell you the service I have where I get everything. I get MSG. I get SNY. Yeah. I get Yes Network. What is it? What's I get MLB service? Network. The only service I don't get, I want full transparency, is NFL Network. It's the only one I don't have, and that is the DirecTV Stream. The direct, which you get on your TV you know, through an app. That's the same thing. It's the right. same thing as YouTube TV. It's, so a, it's a streaming service. maybe getting me the wheel of cheese, you just get me a year subscription to that. Uh, how's how's how that working financially? Give you my login. Now, you can't do that anymore. Nah, I know. You'll I get know. whacked out. Yeah. Like Netflix charges you, I don't know, like 10, 11, 12 bucks a month now for having a second user on your account. Yeah. Maybe even more. I don't know. But that, to me, as a sports fan, that's yeah. the best one that's well, out listen, there. listen, you got to have the NFL package, so that's going to be a couple hundred bucks on YouTube, obviously. And, yeah, depending on where you live and if you've already cut the cord or you're trying to cut the cord, uh, outside of that, you know, you're kind of screwed now. Like It's just, isn't it inconsistent, though, Craig? Maybe I'm not seeing this correctly, and you could fix me on this. No. You just spent a billion dollars to not. get the NFL. Right, billions of dollars yes. for the NFL Sunday ticket. You're trying to show that you're seriously into upgrading your sports availability. Sure. And now, if you live in New York, you have none of the sports regional well, services? Yeah, this thing I don't get, and I'm not going to claim to be an expert on because I'm not, is... You know, what do those networks want to charge you for the rights to their programming? Right. Like, I'm not sure, like, if you just do the basic math on it and you say, okay, realistically, we're going to have 50,000 Met fans, 
I'll you know, sign up because of SNY. I, I'm making up a number, obviously. Mm -hmm. And I can charge those guys. Like, what? how much is YouTube TV? Ten bucks a month? Five bucks a month? Seven More bucks a month? More than that. Uh, 20 bucks a month? 15 bucks a month in that ballpark? That's the basic service, 20 bucks a month. Depending right. on the channels you want, yeah. it starts to add up a little bit. Right. So then the question is, you know, does it make sense monetarily? Like, right. I guess, like, if you had to take a guess, and I think I've always erred uh, by thinking the number's a lot higher than it really is. Like, I've not had MSG for two years now because uh, Xfinity slash Comcast is in a fight with the guard and they won't carry, they won't carry it. Right. So, and then and their their defense is always, as much as we recognize the Knicks and Rangers are number one here from overall fandom for basketball and hockey, the reality is that we're not talking about five million people willing to watch no, MSG. You're right. Think about how many people are right. watching it on a nightly basis. So I guess it's my question number. is, if you're the executives at YouTube TV and SNY wants X amounts of millions of dollars right. for all their programming, it's not that hard to do the math no, on No, no, I'm sure there are not enough people like me and our last caller right. who are going to just drop the service, which I did. I dropped YouTube TV years ago, and again, I had no problem with the service. The service was great when I used it, but they started to take away channels that, to me, I thought were important. Yep. Which is why now, I always think, like, you know, I think there's an old school way of doing that business which just doesn't work anymore. Well, do you did you see what the Utah Jazz are doing? Because this could be the future of TV. Are you ready? It's a little convoluted, but I did see it. It ain't that yes. convoluted. It's simple. All of their games are on free TV. We'll start right there. Every single the game is, that is on free TV. If you have bunny ears, which I don't wow, know if anybody nobody has. Nobody does. You can watch the Jazz. And for those that are more technologically savvy, they offer you a chance to buy the stream of the game, a streaming service to purchase the game. Okay. So they're trying to give access to as many people as possible and then still also give you the kind of technology well, way if you want to buy it so you so can watch it on your own. The iPad. reason I say it's convoluted is that if you don't have cable or a cable provider, the only way to watch those games is to buy the stream. You, there is no free TV. We don't have antennas anymore that we can just turn on a TV and get, you know, five channels, and one of them is have the jazz No, no, but, but even if there isn't any bunny ears anymore. Cable. Yeah, but you don't need the channels that they sometimes but don't I even provide. But pay for cable. Right, but you could buy the most basic service. Sometimes to get the sports service, right. you got to buy but a layer. But when we say it's free, it ain't really free. Are you telling me there really isn't any bunny ears anymore? No. I can't watch any TV that old-fashioned way? When's the last time you bought a TV that had an antenna, okay, an so external I, antenna? I haven't, but I remember about three years ago, maybe five years ago, maybe it's a little bit longer, I went to a Best Buy, Yeah. and they had this, wasn't a service, it was literally... Like antennas that would plug into the plug uh, into your TV uh, into the coaxial thing, coaxial, and you get like yeah. twenty channels. Okay, and Good. I remember experimenting with it. So there is still a way to have quote unquote free yeah. TV. I mean, the problem is that every TV that's made now is digital, as you know. So unless you're now also going to try to find a plug-in antenna like you're describing, mm -hmm. which I know exists, whether they're USB now or just straight coaxial now. I mean, Greg, it's, you're right. It's not free TV. Yeah. So that's probably not the right phrase. But getting the, let's say every Met or Yankee game was on Channel 5, Fox 5. Yeah. That's far different than SNY or Yes or MSG, where there's no guarantee A, yes. your service has it, and then B, it probably costs more to get it. Yeah. So, so you have to admit it's still good for the consumer. Yeah, by the way, I think it's great. Like if you just had basic cable, so make up a number, it's 30 bucks a month. And you got two, four, five, seven, nine, eleven, thirteen. And you told me that every Nick game or Nick game doesn't matter. You know, it was on Channel Five. Yeah, that'd be great. And I think what the Jazz are saying is, we want as many people watching the games, sure. even if we're not making money. By the way, I'll give you it. one better. Again, I don't want to get too in the weeds on it. The Denver Nuggets haven't been on TV in Denver for the last three years. Yeah, that's a problem. You cannot watch Denver Nuggets games in Denver, Colorado. And even if you buy the NBA League Pass. Blacked out. It's blacked out. That's right. That's correct. Yeah, which is crazy. Unless you get a special because account. they're in a huge fight between you know the RSN there and the owner of the team. Blah blah. That's blah, why blah. this whole thing. And, they've, and by the way, for a town that is all of a sudden a great basketball town, which it is not, they haven't seen a regular season game in three years. No, on they, TV. They've seen the regular season games that are put on TNT or ESPN, right? Which are few and far between, right? But it's crazy. But that's why this bubble is popping. These regional sports network, and we're seeing it not as much here, yeah. but we're seeing it around the country. It's popping. And the guy who predicted it years ago, I give him credit, 
is Albert Aloysius Dukes. He didn't predict yes, it. He, he complained about yeah, it. Yeah, but he turned out to be right. He, just, but he complains about everything. Craig, everything he was saying turned out to be true, saying all these people are paying for channels that they don't actually watch. And now the cable companies have realized it. Yes. And they're like, why but are we now, carrying this channel? But now we're all paying for services and we only watch a small percentage of the things offered. Yeah. Right? I also think we're consuming sports in a far different way today than well, we are 10 years ago. Now, your kids... Maybe my kids, but you're more more your kids for sure. Uh, will have no concept of how we watch sporting events. Right, right. It'll be foreign to them. They're gonna watch highlights on Twitter, maybe thirty seconds after it happens. Not even on TV. Not even right. on TV. And are they watching the games? Sort of. Do they know who's on the teams? Yeah. Are they sitting there in front of the TV for three hours? No. Nope. No. Nope. So I think that like the youth still love sports, but they're consuming it far differently. Yeah, 100%. That's right. Yeah, 100%. It's going to be interesting to see how your kids uh, digest, if they're interested in, obviously, uh, sports results. It, you can always go to a game. That's always going to be the uh, great equalizer. But from a standpoint of, am I going to sit and watch an entire game? And if I am, how? Right. Is it just on my phone? You know, what's the next version of the technology that has happened very fast in our lifetimes? Yeah, they're going to be dealing with technology that you and I have no concept of because that's the way this goes. Mm -hmm. You know, are they going to be, uh, you know, putting holograms? You know, are we going to be able to sit in our living room and have a hologram on the floor of our living room <laughs> in 3D of the game that's on? By the way, we're going in that direction. I could put on those uh, glasses right now. Not the glasses. What are those things called? Goggles? Nah, what's the thing called? VR. VR. Yeah, what's it called? Oculus. Bang. I can put on those Oculus uh, things, and I can, I'm sitting courtside at a Laker game. I don't think that's ever going to replace being at the game, though. Oh, I think we're getting there. I'm curious. I want to try it. I'll we give you are a, getting there, buddy. I'll give you my view on it, but I, I'm yeah. skeptical because I need that smell. Cause I need that smell of garden popcorn, Craig. You know what I mean. I know what you mean. I need that hot dog smell. I need the yeah. whole damn thing. I know what you mean. Well, you want to say something over there? See, but, like, when you're wearing the Oculus, yeah. you can tell you're not actually there. Uh, so I well, agree with Evan. Like, it's so much better to go into a stadium. Of course it's better, but it's hard for people mind. to do it. Now, Anthony, I'll say this to you. If you put the Oculus on and somehow you forgot you weren't at the game, I yeah. would test you for drugs immediately. Because obviously <laughs> you know you're not at the game. You didn't leave the house. Well, obviously. Why would you think you're at the game? Like you, you go, oh my god, this is great. But wait a minute, I'm not really at Madison Square Garden, <laughs> <laughs> right? Good point. Good point. Like at that point, I'd wonder if you're doing ayahuasca yeah, with my quarterback, yeah. and that'd be a problem. You get punished yeah, by the me way. Me and Aaron Rodgers. You ever do ayahuasca? You punished for a full year. You don't get to leave the house for a full year. But doesn't Daddy do it all the time? Ayahuasca? Oh yeah, yeah. every Wednesday. <laughs> Yeah, everyone says I'm, I'm knee deep in ayahuasca. <laughs> <laughs> My quarterback's leading a conference on legalizing mushrooms right now in Denver, Colorado. Ugh.